Hello and welcome to today's Milani Minute. Today we'll be continuing looking at the Isaiah 6 model of worship and what it tells us uh, for worship. Uh, if you remember Monday we talked about the, the revelation that God gives us of His presence that He calls us into worship and in so we adore His name. And then we respond in confession because in that adoration we recognize our unworthiness and he grants that forgiveness and his perfect love. The rest of the, the uh, model is proclamation of God's word. Response. Communion and supplication, which we'll talk about in videos in the future. And the sending. We'll talk about that in the future because we, we, see, uh, we don't see that as much here. We see it more in the New Testament. Uh, but we see these ideas very clearly in this passage. Uh, and we're going to be reading verses 8 and 9. Um, we won't be reading the, the whole uh, task of Isaiah uh, because it's a little bit longer and it's specific to the prophet Isaiah, uh, not to each and every one of us. But let's read 8 and 9 where we see this proclamation, response, and sending. And it says, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Then I said, I responded, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and say this to the people. Thanks be to God. Now right here we see that. We see the proclamation of um, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? God calls us to him. This wasn't a real question. He knew who was going to go for them. But he was given this option in a way. He was given this chance to respond, and Isaiah did respond. Isaiah responded with, Here I am, send me. In worship, we're to give ourselves as a living sacrifice. We see, again, we see this in the New Testament. We're to give ourselves to the mission of God. Now it'll look different for different people. Pastor Dennis and I, in this, our life is devoted to the church, and, it, and it's devoted in different ways, and that may evolve and change over time and, and look different here or there, but our calling is to the church. Pastor John's calling and his, his act of giving is to chaplaincy, as is others members of our church like uh, uh, that have come and gone in the past. We have a member in seminary now who has uh, left to go study to become a chaplain, um, and there, there are different callings for different individuals. Some are vocational ministry, some aren't. But nonetheless, God calls us. And then we respond to him. We respond with going in his name. And then he gives us a mission. He gave Isaiah a mission to go to his people and say this. And, and unfortunately, in this passage, it's not an uplifting message, which is why we don't typically hear it. Uh, and I don't, when I uh, teach from this passage, I don't typically leave that off. It's just because these videos aren't super long. But it's to go and essentially curse the people because they wouldn't listen to God. They won't listen. They won't respond. Now, each of our calling, we need to listen because it'll be different. All of us have the general calling of the Great Commission. Go to the nations and proclaim my uh, word, making disciples and teaching uh, what I have taught you. But it's going to look different for everyone else, uh, each individual. Like I said, some are called to full-time vocational ministry in the church, in the, in, in the schools, whether it's K through 12 or higher ed. Some are called to chaplaincy uh, in the hospital. Some are called to military chaplaincy. Everyone's calling is different. Some aren't vocational. Some are to serve in children's ministry. Some are just teaching Sunday school. And I say just not because it's not an important thing but because it's not something you give your entire life to. But every call is important. We need to listen to every one of these calls, and we clearly see this in the service. The proclamation is the sermon. We make sure that we hear that message of God. We read God's word and proclaim his message, not ours, but his. And then we respond. We have a time of response. When we're in person, we have a song that we'll sing together and remember this, this time. We use this time as an invitation to come forward, whether it's because you've come to faith, you want to join the church, you want to be baptized, you want to give your life to ministry, uh, or a host of other things. You just want prayer. You want to rededicate yourself. This is that time of response. This is the Isaiah, here I am, send me. This time is very biblical. It's a time to respond to him. 
Now, when we've done digital services, we'll do it a little bit differently. We won't necessarily sing together. We use it as a time of instrumental music and prayer. But we should be praying in this response. How are we to respond? What has God done uh, in our lives, and how has he called us to respond? But then we turn, and we have each of our missions. So after our final song, the announcements, we hear the announcements. We hear the things going on. What am I being called to? We have our final song, but then there's the benediction. There's the blessing on, which ends with every week, go in peace. It's that time to go and find what God has called us to. So now we see this whole uh, uh, structure of worship that we see here. We see the revelation of God. Uh, calling in. We see the adoration of God. We see our confession. We see his forgiveness. We hear his word and we respond to it. And then we go with his call. So tomorrow we'll be looking at what does this mean for each of us today? I understand what it means here in the passage. I understand what it means for the service, but what does it mean for each of us individually? But before we go today, let's pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you that we have this, this amazing passage that we can learn from, and your perfect will gave this to us in the midst of, of the prophet Isaiah's writings. And we just ask that today you lay this on our heart, that we see your word, we see your teaching, we see your structure, and we worship you as you have called us to worship you. We pray today that we remember all of these things, maybe not exactly their names or in order, but we remember that they're there, and we seek your will in all things. We pray all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. Thank you.